Video games have skyrocketed in price over the last six to eight months. Let's take a look at one of the more uncommon games in my collection and see what it's going for these days. Hey, what's going on guys? CJR here with the first episode of this is going for how much or this is worth how much? Uh, that's a working title. Let me know in the comments below if you have a better one. But basically what we're going to do is pull a game off my shelf um, and see what it's going for these days. Now, I'm not somebody that I, I really don't even know uh, what games are going for. Um, I'm somebody that buys like 90% of my collection at garage sales. If you don't know, um, everything down here by now is free just from buying lots keeping what I need, flipping the rest for more games. So I don't really keep track of values. I don't have a number value on my collection. It's not something that I really worry about. I don't plan on ever selling the collection. Um, but I've been hearing about how crazy prices have been going up and I've been seeing other people post about, um, you know, GameCube games that are now going for like $120 that used to be $40 before this whole uh, COVID outbreak. So I thought it'd be kind of cool. I was playing a game the other day and I knew it was kind of uncommon and I kind of did some digging into to when I picked it up. Um, and I thought it'd be kind of cool to pull games off the shelf and just get an idea of, of what they're going for. Uh, both, I think it would be interesting for you guys and I kind of want to know. So you're going to get my genuine reaction. I haven't looked this up yet. Um, the game is on the original Xbox. We are going to head over right now to the uh, Xbox section and pull it off the shelf. Let's go. All right. So let's grab this game. Now I gotta remember where I put it. I was actually playing it the other day. And it was in, here it is. So today's game that we're gonna look at is Outrun 2006, Coast to Coast. Head back over here and uh, I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit about uh, where I picked this up and uh, how much, all that kind of stuff. This video inception. So Outrun 2006 Coast to Coast is a fantastic arcade racing game from Sega. I'm not sure what other consoles this was on. I'm pr pretty sure it was on PS2 as well. Um, and I believe the Xbox One is more valuable. Almost positive there. Uh, anyways, I picked this up at a pawn shop in, I wanna say Cambridge, Ontario, for those of you that are local, uh, for $20. I don't know if you can see the price tag. Uh, four years ago in 2016, almost four years to this date. And I actually posted about it on Instagram. Here's the Instagram post. Uh, you can see, picked it up 2016, 20 bucks. And down at the bottom there, you'll see that uh, the official Xbox account commented on the post. I thought that was super cool. So 20 bucks, I knew that when I bought it that it was a great deal. It is complete in like mint condition. Um, and I think at the time I wanna say it was going for around 80 bucks. So what I thought we would do here is pull up price charting. Now price charting was is what I use. I don't know if there's a better source these days. Um, you know, it's not 100% accurate, but I think it's a pretty good indication of, of what it's going for. I know there are a lot of stores that uh, do their pricing based off of price charting. And uh, I know that some of them add even a little bit more on top of that, just because price charting, I think, tends to price things a little bit low. Uh, if you want to dig in more, you can go into like exactly how much each game sold for. Uh, but we'll use price charting for now. We're going to use US dollars. We're going to put in Outrun Coast, Outrun 2006 Coast to Coast on the Xbox. And it is sitting at 167.31 right now for uh, the complete price. Loose price is sitting around $90. New price, 204. Um, box and manual, uh, that, that always blows my mind. Box only, 75 bucks, crazy. Um, so that is pretty impressive. That means that the game in four years has jumped, um, uh, has doubled in price, essentially. So looking at the chart here, back in January, it looks like it was trending around uh, 110 bucks. So almost a $60 jump. So that, that's absolutely insane. Uh, and I've been seeing that as par for the course. I was taking a look at some of the other games in my Xbox collection, and it seems like it's safe to say that there's been like minimum 20 to 25% jump in video game prices. Um, that's absolutely crazy. I mean, if there was a time where you're gonna sell your collection, now is probably the time to do it. I've seen people online unloading, um, you know, GameCube is one, one that I keep seeing come up and uh, I can't really fault people for that. And there's always this idea of like, you know, is it its peak? I heard that back in, 
2017, that it was, this is the peak, it's time to get out, but it doesn't seem to ever end. Um, I'd be curious on uh, what you guys think, if, if this bubble is eventually going to burst, or if games are just going to continue to rise. I know something like a little Samson now, <clears throat> or maybe I don't know. Um, that game felt like it was like $800, uh, you know, four or five years ago. I could be off, let me know in the comments below. And now I think it's like two grand. So games just seem to be continuing on that trajectory in terms of, uh, of value. So I think this is going to be an interesting series going forward. We're just going to, you know, we'll walk over. Maybe next time we'll head over to the um, Genesis shelf here and pull one of the games I'm looking at right now. I'd be interested to know is uh, Punisher, which I grabbed at a garage sale. So I think it's going to be kind of fun to take a look at both like what I paid for it, which is typically usually like a dollar or two at a garage sale. Um, maybe what it was worth at the time when I picked it up and uh, kind of highlight how much it's shot up over the past few months. I'm kind of figuring this out as we go, but uh, this might evolve into a pretty fun series. And uh, yeah, I enjoyed doing this. So let me know if you enjoyed this quick little video. Uh, once again, I appreciate all your continued support and stay tuned. We've got some pretty interesting video content coming up. Uh, you can always follow me on Instagram, Instagram com slash cjr and it's just cjr everywhere just google me and you'll find all my accounts uh you'll also find weird things like uh cjr income uh cjr wife uh i think one for a while cjr dead was uh something that was popping up in the google search so um yeah you can find me anywhere at cjr and uh, i'm excited to continue this series i think this will be fun thank you guys so much for watching uh thank you for your continued support and till the next episode.